What's going on, the friends? My name is M. Gates, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch. We're all off up last time. We defeated Brosius of the Artisan Gym. And now in this part, we are going to head out of Artisan and make way to another new area. I think it's been a while since we've been to a new area because we've been kind of going a little bit back and forth between East and West to kind of all do continue our... Uh, rotation with uh, how are we gonna do like the objective so we're actually going to uh, continue uh, one of the objectives as uh, we want to make sure that every ob uh, objective gets uh, the same number so the last thing that we want to do at least for now is to take on team star and the closest one to us is right over here and that is by heading to a new area this is a new area called the East province area um and uh in order to actually get to our next city that we're trying to get to we have to go through two areas so we're gonna go through two east area provinces in order to get to our next city and on our way to the next city uh we are going to be uh taking on team star so this is the first area that we're exploring in the eastern province um, so, we are on our way to a city called Lavincia, and, um, on our way to Lavincia, we are going to be fighting Team Star, as that is on the way, and to go about with, you know, going to Lavincia, then we have to go through two eastern province areas, uh, so it is quite a bit in, uh, before we actually get to, uh, Lavincia. And uh, this whole session, or at least this little segment here that I'm exploring uh, before we actually get to Team Star, uh, doesn't really take too long. Um, it's just me exploring whatever there is to see here in uh, East Province Area 1. Now, here in East Province Area 1, there's a few Pokemon that you can find while you're here. Uh, you can actually find Deerling. Uh, which you can find Deerling in uh, a few different forms. I believe there's four different forms of Deerling, depending on... Well, in the original games, which was black and white, then it's it comes in different forms depending on the season, but there is no season system in this game. But I, but I think you can just find all four forms anyway. Um, so that the option's there, if you think if, if that's really cool uh, to you. But um, I'm not going to be using Deerling. And... Uh, I don't know if there's a difference in, like, stats between the four season, uh, vert forms of Deerling. Uh, I think they're just Deerlings in general. Uh, the next one you can find is Kamala. You can also find a Venonat, a Spidops, which is the evolved form of one of the bug Pokemon. Um, there's a Steeny, a Paldean form Tauros. Which is actually interesting. Um, another Paldean form of uh, some of the older Pokemon that you can find here. Uh, this form, I believe, has an evolution this time around. I don't don't quote me on that. Uh, but this one is not a normal type. It is, I believe, a fighting type, which is a very interesting type of uh, Pokemon this time around. Or at least another uh, in interesting version of Tauros this time around. Uh, you can also find Teddy Ursa and a Shuffet. So, uh, you can actually head down over here in this uh, bottom part, which uh, this part right here is actually a shortcut to go to Lavincia. If you feel like you want to bypass Team Star for the time being, then you can uh, go to this bottom part and you'll actually have a short path to Lavincia. But I am not interested in taking on that short path right now because I want to show off the you know, the entirety of this path while we're making our way to uh, Lavincia. I didn't even remember what Lavincia was during uh, the live commentary, so we might, uh, later on when I get back into uh, live commentary in just a moment, then you'll uh, kind of hear me stumble on uh, what the name of this is called. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the bottom part of that area. It'll actually, if you keep going a little bit out of the way, then you'll actually go to the East Paldean Sea. Uh, so this is, I think I mentioned this in the previous videos, but there are four Paldean, uh, four parts of the Paldean Sea, a East, West, North, and South Paldean Sea, which are basically just large bodies of water where you can just find Pokemon. Uh, I 
yeah, that's that's really it. Um, I don't think there's anything like too spectacular about exploring the Paldean Seas, but I might explore them anyway once I have all the abilities to explore Paldea in its entirety. And right now we don't. So another uh, watchtower. A lot of these areas here have a watchtower as well as some ruins. And um, usually the top of these watchtowers will contain a Gimme Ghoul that you can fight in order to get Gimme Ghoul coins if you're interested in that. Also, something I learned uh, a bit recently is that uh, you can't really tell because I'm fat. This is being fast forward, um, but when you climb up ladders, you can actually hold a certain button and you'll actually climb up faster. Uh, so that's actually pretty useful, because climbing is pretty slow in this game. So that was the Watchtower area, and then I'm trying to collect as many items I can in this little wide-open field in this little section right here. More items right there in Ether, and as well as finding some hidden items. Most of these hidden items will usually contain, like, berries and... I will say a lot of these items that are kind of rare in some of the previous games just become very common because you just these items you come around a lot of different kinds of items in uh, in this game when you're trying to like explore things in its entirety. So right here we have a strong trainer. Again, any trainer that has like a black text box uh, indicates that they are actually a strong trainer, uh, meaning their levels in Pokemon are higher than some of the average levels of Pokemon as far as like the routes are concerned. So this is a pretty powerful Pokemon uh, trainer that has like a, a Zangoose. It, this Zangoose is actually kind of scary sometimes because it has Slash and Slash is a high crit rate move which means uh, its crit rate is actually doubled compared to a normal crit rate in this game which I believe a normal crit rate is 1 in 24 in this game. So that means that Slash will have to do, well, is a 1 in 12 chance to uh, crit. So it's a pretty insane move, to say the least. Uh, so there's a Pokemon Center right there. A bit of a checkpoint indicating that you're a bit halfway through uh, the East Province area. This is the first part of the East Province area. And uh, pretty soon we're actually going to go back to uh, normal comments area because nearby this Pokemon Center is actually uh, Team Star. So, uh, I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, we are going to go ahead and make our way to the next uh, Team Star base. Now, uh, first off here, just like in uh, basically every area, if you go ahead, there's uh, this guy right here who will reward you if you fight a certain number of trainers. In my case, I managed to defeat eight trainers here and uh, and I got myself a loaded dice, I believe that's what that reward was. So uh, I have Donald up in front because we're about to, well, coming up, we're about to take on a bunch of fire Pokemon. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first off before I do that. Uh, there is this spot right here and I did see an item and I didn't get it because I was afraid that this might trigger uh, a cutscene here because usually whenever you get past these gates right here, then it usually triggers a cutscene. Uh, but we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, we didn't trigger a cutscene. Okay, we got a laxmith. And uh, then now we're gonna go past these gates and um, take on some fire Pokemon. I'm really excited for this um, because anytime we fight Team Star, it is always an exciting thing for me because I like Team Star. Um, I mentioned this the first time that we fought Giacomo in the last time that we fought Team Star. Uh, and this is going to be no exception. Ah, it's you! Director Clavel or Clive? Okay, you know, your disguise is kind of bad because I can still see a part of you that, uh, is Clavel. So I'm going to say Director Clavel. Like I said before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Okay. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, uh, so why did you join? I need answers. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star, and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Okay, so why do you? Why does this matter to you? If you claim, if you're a self-proclaimed student, 
Then, uh, why does this matter to you? Shouldn't this be the director's concern? Team Star is a subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistence and truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. Isn't that kind of bad? That's very bad if they haven't uh, went to school in a year. Then again, for me, I haven't went to school in over a year as well at this point. College has kind of burned me out right now. Okay. Again, you're just a student, right? So why does this matter to you? Are you going to be... Uh, if you're if you claim to be uh, a student and are you trying to, to just uh, Report this to the director I Would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated Okay Wait, but why you specifically again? I just feel like you're the director Because again your disguise is bad Okay, so the deadline is coming up, and they need to disband Team Star soon. Alright. It's Cassiopa, can you hear me? Okay. I see her coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Um... I mean, how, how do I bring it up to, to that? I'll just say it's just me. Be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. The space won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay. Very well then. Let's go ahead and make way. In fact, there's a, a guard right there right now. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't be here! This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Well, alright. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of ya. Alright, bring it on then. Not so hard. Man, it started raining already. This is going to be even more of an advantage. So when it's raining, then water moves get boosted, which means, uh, yeah, I'm going to get boosted uh, throughout this, and it's going to be great. Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Cassiopa told me to, s to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Oh, hey, it's a Charcadet. Charlos? I is it yours? Charlos the Charcadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Okay. Wait, where's it going? It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Okay, wait, how do you know this? Station inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way through her methods are ha heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. 
I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. All right then. All right, so are there any items nearby? No, there's not. My party seems fine, so let's go ahead and make our way inside. All right, here we go. So with the first three Pokemon, which is everybody except for, once again, Danielle, because Danielle's a Steel type and Fire Strong and Steel, and I don't want Danielle to get destroyed here. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now she thinks she can take us on. It's time to give her the boot, gang! Let's throw this Gate Crasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this! Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Alright. So, same thing as usual. Gotta defeat 30 Pokemon within 10 minutes. It shouldn't be that hard. We have fire Pokemon to deal with, so if you have a Water-type Pokemon, or even like a Ground-type, a Rock-type, um, then this should be uh, no problem right here. Okay, let's go ahead and send out our Pokemon, and uh, take out all these Hound Hours. This is so fun. I like this. We should be pretty decently leveled uh, in order to take out these uh, Pokemon here. Now, once again, there are vending machines scattered about that you could use in order to uh, heal up your Pokemon in case your Pokemon, some of your Pokemon are taking a beating, which it looks like. Um, Ashley is taking quite a beating right now, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not concerning at the moment, which is uh, a, always a good thing. We don't want our Pokemon to be in a concerning condition here. I mean, I think our Pokemon gets healed up even after, like, we, even, we do this, when we actually, like, take on the boss herself. But, um, well, it still kind of sucks when you have one less Pokemon to work with. And it looks like they have defeated uh, Ashley. Uh, that's fine. I can probably use um, the Rain... Uh, my uh, last two Pokemon, because I have plenty of time, and all I gotta do is just take care of uh, these Hound Towers right over here, and or even these Torkoals here, so let's go ahead and uh, take out these Torkoals, or I could, uh, I win! Our defenses are breached, it's all up to the boss now! So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Oh my gosh, the music is so good! I love this music. But this is it. This is the battle against Team Star's Mela. Oh man, user of fire types. This is probably the most popular of the Team Star bosses. I, I'm i only saying that because, man, everywhere I go, uh, even in anime conventions, in uh, Twitter with artwork, I I see artwork of Mela all over the place. But here we go. We're taking on Mela here. She has two Pokemon, starting up with Torkoal, level 27 fire type, with Flame Wheel and Clear Smog. Um, going for the Flame Wheel. Didn't do much. If you have a Water type, then this is this should be no problem here. I am actually going to use an X Special attack. Actually, actually, I think Aqua Cutter is a physical move. So I'm gonna go ahead and use an X an X attack in order to, um, in or in an attempt to hopefully have Aqua Cutter do more damage. I think Aqua Cutter is a physical move. It looks like a physical move, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right here. Um, and, um, yeah, so, oh man, this music's so good. I love this music. Okay, so it turns out I was right. It is a physical attack, so I managed to defeat that Torkoal, no problem. And uh, then, now, and then just like uh, Giacomo, Every Team Star ba boss is going to have their last Pokemon be the vehicle, which is Revaroom. 
Um, and this is the Shedder Star Mobile. Uh, this one is on level 26 Fire Type with Overheat, Blazing Torque, Screech, and Swift. I'm gonna go ahead and go for an Aqua Cutter, and I should be able to do more damage to it than than uh, than usual because of um, of the X attack here. And and uh, I believe Aqua Cutter does have a high crit rate. Ooh, that is a lot of damage right there. Um, so I should be able to uh, do quite a bit of damage even with the crit. It does. The Rever Room has a speed boost, which is actually quite concerning here. Um, I'm actually, oh man, actually this is bad, um, because what should I do in this situation? Uh, because if I heal, I, I think I'm put into a heal loop if I, if I decide to heal, so I think what I need to do is I need to go ahead and switch out here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to, um, Wyatt here, um, and uh, we'll see what, what happens here. Because uh, uh, he's going to keep on using Blazing Torque, and it's going to just do uh, quite numbers on me. And that is, again, still a lot of damage right here. Um, and, uh, oh, there's Sunlight, which uh, meant that its firepower was actually stronger there. So that's actually pretty concerning. Alright, let's go for a Spark. It's going to go for the Overheat, which is a very powerful fire move. Oh my gosh, I still live that. Please don't burn. It's going to lower its special attack, which is great. Please! Yes! There we go! We defeated Mela of Team Star, the Shatter Squad. And that's it, no more of Mela. Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melee. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadets to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Star Mobile and finally get the hunk of metal rolling. Man, you use Charcadets to power up your vehicle? That's insane. I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that. As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. Just, she puts on a Shirley attitude, so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that. Her Shirley attitude is what people know her for. Come on, not you too, Airy. How about we leave it at that, though? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss. What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's final time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. Being me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. Oh my gosh, is that like her giving me a, a, a like a squeeze while doing a handshake? Because it looks like I'm in pain in this picture. <laughs> well, I'm mad you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge, okay. Well, Ashley already has that, but thank you anyway. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. Okay, well, Quaxwell cannot learn that anyway. Man, look at those huge boots, man. They're insane. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. A Charcadet? Wait. It's Charlos. What are you doing here? It seems he came to his base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? 
First I've heard a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Star Mobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Not Operation Star Fall, I see. For me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Okay, not many more details about it. 